Good morning, everyone. Welcome to It's All Grady. I am Denise, and we are back up at the slab here with my husband, Marcel, our son, Gage. And today, you guys, we are setting our leads. We're building a center block basement. It's going to be a walkout basement. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day to get started on this. We've spent the last few days lining out each individual block so we can kind of see where our door and windows are going to lay. And uh, yeah, today we're going to set our leads. So say good morning, babe. Good morning, babe. Say good morning, Gage. Good morning, Gage. All right, you guys, let's get started. So the chalk lines are just going to blow away or brush away. So I'm going to draw out just this corner over here so I know where to set my lead for my outside corner, my inside edge or whatever, both outside edges, whatever it is. So, so that I don't lose it. I use my framing square and I'll just do a corner just like that. Perfecto. Yeah. So when we set our lead, that line won't disappear. I can just push my lead right up against that goes to the outside of this BAM just like that I hope this edge right here is gonna go in line with this pencil this way okay so the 2 by 2 square tubing is all gonna go down this way down this line it needs to be the outside Okay. So what we've done was set our pole up so that we could set our stakes up. Now we know where. This is 12 feet long. Our wall's 9 foot 4. Gives us plenty of room up here. We won't be tripping over stuff up there. 
where we might have problems is over on that side because of our road so we might have to be creative on that end all right coming down so the way we were taught to set the bottom of these is by angling a nail in which worked great it worked awesome but that to me is like a short-term solution for us this is a little bit bigger pipe man we can get out of, out of control sometimes and bang stuff around so i found some plastic that uh, i cut out this bird mouth so that i can pin it in one spot and then we're just going to use some ram set nails these are actually concrete nails and i'll put them in by hand rather than using the ram set which is a little more powerful than i think we need to use right now cool so we're just going to line this up on our pencil line there it is so this is our wall and this is our wall yeah our strings going to pull that way i think if i just wedge on this side i don't think it really matters i could do it on this side as well which is probably what i'll do nice you see now what i'm talking about so now let's move this out of the way and we'll line those blocks up and just see what that looks like yeah sweet now do you understand the theory and then we'll shoot a laser line we'll find our highest point our highest corner and we'll mark that actually we don't even need to mark it what we would do is measure up from the bottom eight inches on up Right, we can mark them all and then we can take our laser line and shoot it until we get one of those BAM And then we can mark the other ones and then measure off that mark eight inches up eight inches down to whatever we need to 14 courses worth Right Shouldn't be that part of a math equation pick the highest point. That's our starting point Eight inches off the ground is our starting point Over there, we're gonna have some, but we'll get it out over a couple of rows. So, nice, huh? That's awesome. Yeah. You know what really is a bummer? Then you forgot your torpedo level up there. I forgot my torpedo up there. do the same thing on this side because the chalk line is too chalky it will disappear so I penciled it in so that we can set this up and hopefully we won't have to keep setting it up right for these long uh, for the metal let's go this way first so we can get it out of the way okay you're gonna have to kind of square it up baby cakes this Alright everyone, now that we're done setting our leads, 
What are we about to do, babes? Well, now we're about to, uh, we just set up our, our laser transit. And we're about to shoot some elevations on the edge of this slab so that we can find our highest point and that will be our starting point so that's what we're about to do all right let's get it going So now that we got all of our leads leveled out, we're going to go ahead and start over in this corner. Because that's a, that corner and the corner behind me are the same, but that's where we're going to start. Yeah. We'll and measure up. We can start from the bottom of the concrete. We'll measure up our eight inch increments. Mm -hmm. We'll mark and them mark all it. Up. We'll pick one of those eight inch increments and we'll shoot it with that laser line right there, our laser grid line. And then everywhere that laser hits everywhere else, we'll make a mark and that will be one of those eight inch lines. And we can measure down and up to finish it off either way we have to. Yeah, babes. I think we might get some walk set today. We may be in a big hurry, but we're about to run our first eight inch string line. We'll go down this wall and we'll go down that wall and I think we'll just stop there for now. Is that all right with you? All right, well, if we can get that many blocks set in the first day, I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> all, right, so. all right, we'll see if we can get it done. Let's get this string line up. We've got our string line up. That should be on the money. All the way down, we get to use our block lines even though we're not putting it on blocks. It could slingshot and hit us in the head. We will find out. So now what we wanna do is just get a quick measurement. We'll run down this sucker. We'll check measurements, make sure it's eight inches. It's probably gonna lose some and get a little bit more. We'll wanna know that. Now we can mix mud. <laughs> Look at all those Center blocks laid out, you guys. It, it looks like dominoes. Gage set them up for Marcel to get going. This wall was pretty good. <laughs> How does that look? Looks really good. Yeah, that's our first first line right there. Bam! All right guys, so we got the mix and we're about to mix it and it is one and a half gallons per bag. One and a half gallons of water per bag. So we're gonna go ahead and mix it a little bit at a time because that's just how you mix mud. expecting some weather so we'll be getting a few blocks down and we'll see what we can get done from there but it is just ah it's crazy you guys we are starting our blocks all right everyone it is the moment yeah we're ready to start flopping some mud mm -hmm. let's see how many blocks we can set before it gets too dark if we can get through this one batch i'd be happy so Let's give her a run. Well, it's already looking too wet.
Hey everyone, it's the next day and we're up here at the slab and well things went terribly wrong so uh, yeah today I lost a bunch of footage while editing and as you may see we only got footage of us laying two blocks so yeah. Yeah. here it is you guys we yeah. had to come up and show you there's 15 blocks <laughs> we did 15 blocks I swear there's there it was nothing like a ballet that's for sure there was blood there was colorful language there's the evidence right there that <laughs> came out of my finger because yeah I wasn't wearing gloves and I tapped and I missed and I yeah, it was a bummer. Anyways, technology, I don't understand it. Back in the day, we would have chiseled this blockbuster out of stone and sent it via crane. And we would have never lost any of our information. So, unfortunately, we did lose the footage. Um, I could pay to recover, recover it, but it's really not worth it. Um, I mean, it is for the sentimental value to me, but uh, I'm not going to do it. So yeah. Three seconds worth of work isn't probably worth $70. Yeah, it's not. So So we'll try to do better next time. And actually, it wasn't even us. Yeah. So. My computer crashed, you guys, while yeah. the files were transferring. Yeah. And unfortunately, I lost it. Yeah, somehow, uh, bo on both ends. Mm -hmm. And our internet service is so poor that I can't even use our Geek Squad to help me fix it. We, so. we could on a sunny day. Maybe. We could on a sunny day, but definitely not today. Yeah. So. So, but, we did get this done yesterday. Yes, um, we were victorious. We set 15 blocks. And set our leads, and we got quite a bit done yesterday, so yeah, we well, just wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys. Yeah, and uh, we probably won't be able to set blocks for a little while again now because we're in that don't set blocks temperature range. It's cold. So, yeah, it's cold, so hopefully it warms back up. It, it can even drop down into freezing temperatures as long as it's... Uh, at a certain temperature or higher for enough time for this stuff to warm up and we can cover it with blankets but this whole the rest of this week isn't looking very promising for us we'll see what else we can do all right everyone we just wanted to show you what we got done yesterday unfortunately we did lose the footage so if you have made it this far please be sure to give us a big thumbs up ring that notification bell share our videos subscribe if you haven't already <laughs> and thank you guys for watching see you on the next one peace all right hold on let's show you some more she wants to just shut it off i'm not going to allow this first of all this has to go in your video <laughs> i love you <laughs> i love you too and you are the cinderella of cinder blocks <laughs> all right check it out Look at that. First 15 blocks. Those look straight. Looks good, baby. Looks good. I love it. We did good. We did get hurt. There's some blood. There's some blood. It came from there. I almost had to go to Kaiser Permanente. But thankfully, I didn't.